Over a year ago, with more than 300 jobs open, the Sewage and Water Board vowed to fill those positions, but they're falling short, way short, and that's the main reason other employees are cashing in plenty of overtime, which has some elected leaders fuming. Almost every day across the city of New Orleans, sewage and water board crews are out and about repairing pipes, plugging holes, and fixing pumps. And based on these documents obtained by WDSU Investigates, many of these crew members are most likely cashing in on overtime, raking in lots of extra dollars. When stories come out like this about your overtime being too high, it makes people question, why do you need seven people at a certain job? How come these many people are getting this much work? City Councilman Joe Geruso says the overtime numbers just don't add up. Yes, it's, it's a problem. Sewage and Water Board employs about 1,500 people. We looked at the top 100 employees, the men and women who make the most overtime. Records show their total combined annual salaries are just over $4 million. But the group combined to make almost $3.9 million in overtime, or 96% of their total annual salaries. It's hard to explain how things are functioning and functioning the right way. But the Sewage and Water Board's executive director tried his best to do just that. Now, am I uh, uh, concerned about the amount of overtime as, of, as we stand today? Not really, but I do want to make it better. I want to reduce the number of overtime overall. But that is easier said than done. And what we have uncovered seems to paint a picture of what some feel is out of control over time. Take Clarence Plains, who works in Network's senior maintenance. His base salary is just over $67,000 a year, but records show he made over $87,000 in overtime last year for a yearly salary of over $150,000, averaging about 50 hours of overtime a week. That means for 52 weeks a year, Plains works about 90 hour work weeks. Frustrating numbers for Jeruso. I see these employees who are making more than double and it doesn't seem like anybody's paying attention. And there's more. Out of the top 100 overtime earners, almost all are violating a city policy. City laws are clear. No one can work more than 750 hours of overtime in a year. 89 people on this list break that. Some working, over 2,000 hours of OT yearly. There has been some, some uh, practices that cause that, and that's why we are focusing on making it better. The policies need to be followed. What you're going to hear likely from Sewage and Water Board is we don't have enough people, people are demanding the work be done, and so we've got to get the work done. The fact of the matter is that we are hit by events all the time, and we cannot staff for those, for those uh, events, so we, we have to respond by utilizing overtime, which is very common across the country. And while Corban says the Water and Drainage Agency is trying to fill vacant jobs to help curtail overtime, Sometimes the demands of the job, and again, some sh shortage of, of manpower and, and resources may cause you to exceed the, the policy that we have in place. It's extremely frustrating. And State Representative Stephanie Hilferty, who represents parts of New Orleans, says action is needed. So she's initiating a state inquiry into the agency's overtime after looking at all of these numbers. I've got an ongoing legislative audit going, asking them to look at the billing procedures, and I've reached out to them to also look at these overtime hours, um, because we've got to get to the bottom of this. And while city and state leaders take aim, Corban is preaching patience. We have a lot of good, skilled uh, people at, uh, at all levels assessing, uh, bringing efficiencies and bringing better ways of managing our utility. The Sewage and Water Board tells us that it has reduced the number of vacant jobs from 300 down to about 180. Right now, there's no time frame on when the legislative auditor will wrap up that inquiry into the Sewage and Water Board. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Travers Mackle.